I asked uh, the fans on social media before, they want to hear a, a Tebow story. And give give me something good. N nothing that I saw on the Netflix, though. None of that. I, give, me, give me something good, dog. Cause listen, cause listen, Tebow came, Tebow came and played with me uh in Denver. Oh yeah? Yeah, I ain't I'm a, I ain't believe it. I ain't you know all the religion. You ain't believe it so until hold you on. saw it, dude. I didn't I didn't believe it. So I was with him, I was like, I was like, hey dog, give me some Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? And I could see in his eyes, and we were we was trying to trap him into those conversations. Right. Because he, he wanted the guys. In the yeah. locker room, he loved it. Uh, yeah. And we that, that conversation went left. He had slowly just stayed out. And I was like, dang. For he, real? He really is. He, for real? Is this he really is? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, I you know, people always ask me about that. And Tebow looked up to me when he got to campus. You know, um, and oddly enough, I just I couldn't understand it. Yeah. You know, like I wasn't a very religious person back then. You know, now I am, but back then I wasn't at all, right? So for him to cling to me, I just I, I really didn't understand that, right? Um, but I guess one of the best, one of my best memories was when uh, he got to campus and he called me, and I think I said I told that one on the Netflix documentary. But he called me, um, and I and I went and picked him up. What I did, what I left out of the Netflix documentary is we had a fight. That Ooh. we had a, that it was a fight that day. And, and Tebow got hands. No, 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 no. Tebow reminded me. He reminded me that the other part of that story that I forgot uh -huh. because remember this this stuck with Tebow because this was his first day on campus. I went and picked him up, took him to my house. We played video games, but I was throwing a big party. Mm -hmm. What I call this is a mandatory party. Mm -hmm. And a mandatory right, your rite of passage. Well, no, the mandatory party was like I, I would have these parties, but I would make it mandatory for our team to come. Gotcha. Because it was a bonding. Bonding, experience. bonding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I would throw a party, and it's a mandatory party. Yeah. Like, no option, but everybody had to come. Gotcha. If you didn't come, it, it was smoking the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, two of our freshmen got into it on campus, um, and one of the freshmen family was in town and jumped out of the car on the other freshman and the freshman ran off. So now you got people coming from off our campus to mess with one of our football players, mm -hmm. right? So to me, I'm like, nah, we don't, we don't do that right here, right? So they both wasn't at the party, so I called them. I said, hey, they trying to 